people of Earth. The following podcast is not real, and my favorite holiday is almost here. That's right. Secret Lesson Eve, where children arrive at the door in sloppy homemade costumes, and I see how long they're willing to wait while I search for candy I don't actually have, while offering them helpful little observations and learnings. Like, you know, all the Snickers bars in the world aren't as sweet as catching up with an old friend. And my favorite kind of movies are called books. Oh, they're little expressions when you say, I guess I left those turtle brownies in my other house. But maybe the real treat was the words I've offered. That is the look of eventual gratitude. So while we count the minutes, let's sit back and enjoy the show. Hello from the Magic Tavern, a weekly podcast from the magical land of Foon. I'm your host, Arnie Niekamp, the greatest warrior in all of Foon, the greatest lawyer in all of Foon, and also a permabuddy of the Red Queen Mersia. If you've never listened to the podcast before, this is everything you need to know. Eight and a half years ago, I fell through a dimensional portal behind a Burger King in Chicago into the magical, fantastical land of Foon. Luckily, I'm still getting a Wi-Fi signal from the Burger King through the dimensional rift, and I use that to upload a podcast recorded here in the tavern, the strange familiar, in the town of Nibblebottom, at the base of the unnameable mountain, in the magical land of Foon. And I'm joined, as always, by my co-host, Usador the Blue. I am Usador, wizard of the twelfth realm of Ephesius, master of light and shadow, manipulator of magical... Honey, can I just say, Mm -hmm. that was a really good opening. And you know what I think the difference was? What's that? No one interrupted you. Nobody interrupted me. It's true. Usually I have a hard time getting through that whole thing. Usually the only thing interrupting me is my own ability to not take a breath more often. Well, I, I, I did notice you were gasping for air at points. Uh, the, uh, uh, our listeners can't see that, the way you sort of hunch over and take in a deep breath and attempt to catch your breath just in time to keep speaking. It sometimes takes me about an hour and a half to get through that opening, and we just, we edit that down. But, uh, we, of course, we must, uh, call out the giraffe with the boat for legs in the room, Mm -hmm. and say that uh, Chunt isn't here this week. Yeah. Do do we feel like the audience will notice? It's kind of a little bit of a bummer to talk about. Should we we just, like, pretend that he's here? I'll, I'll just get it out on the table. Okay. Chunt died. Yeah. A little bit. A little bit. But he's fine. Like a week's worth of being dead. He, yes, I, he got hurt very badly, which in Foon sometimes we say, you died a little mm-hmm. bit. Yes. Uh, but now he's healing and he's doing better. But he tried, he, you know, he it's, it's Chunt for Red October season. So of course he was raising blood for needy vampires. And some of those vampires were a little needier than they should have been. And they mm-hmm. they bit him a little bit. But he won't yeah. be a vampire. We took care of all of that. He'll be fine. In retrospect, it was probably a mistake to do Chunt for an October so close to Castle Hawkspire where there are just now millions and millions of vampires in there. Things just got out of control. That's right. We should just douse that place with garlic. I know. We should have just been running around, uh, sh- shooting our arrows. You know, look, we are classic vampire survivors. We should have learned our lessons. That's very true. I, I, I just want one of those axes that you throw up in the air and just sort of falls down. Those are fun. You sort of, can I ask? Mm-hmm. The whole thing about, like, telling people they're, they've died just a little bit. Do doctors ever come in and, or whatever, uh, medicine men come in and say, well, I've got some good news and some bad news. The good news is, you died. The bad news is, a lot. Like, you're really, really dead. Yes, uh, the degree to which you're dead uh, it greatly affects the way the doctors give you news. If you died a lot, they won't give you news at all because you're dead. But if you died just a little bit, they might come in and be like, I'm so sorry, you died. Some. The worst thing about the tragedy that happened at Chunt for in October, which Chunt will be completely better by next week. Uh, maybe. Maybe. <laughs> or let's play it out. Let's see how people let's react. see where it goes. Maybe we learn that it's okay. Oh, but Ani, I, I know you are on a constant quest for content. So fear not. Usador has come to fill the hole left here by Chunt. Oh, I don't like 
like that. Yeah, I have for you found a new charity, even greater than the Chunt for Red October. Hmm. Yay. Well, I have found a put-together person who's from the uh, uh, Lend a Limb Foundation. Uh, uh, sir, please come join us at the table, uh, won't you? Uh, yes, of course. Hello. Hi. Uh, hello. Uh, well, we're very excited to have you on and learn all about you, uh, the, the wonderful work that you are doing. Uh, and this is, of course, my friend Arnie. He's from Hi. Earth. I'm from another world. Oh, hello. Wow, Earth. Hi. That's that's pretty interesting. I think so. Thank you. You're welcome. And and I'm so sorry we haven't met before. I don't think. Although I got to be honest with you, it's we could have met before and I forgot. Like I, I meet a lot of people. You know, I've kind of become kind of an important person in this world. Uh, I don't know why I'm, I'm really derailing. Uh, just getting to know you. No, no, that's fine. Just go ahead. Talk about yourself. It's fun. So, I'm from another world, uh-huh. and so that makes me pretty interesting. And then I accidentally killed the greatest warrior in Olafoon, so now I'm the greatest warrior in Olafoon, and if that isn't enough... Technically. I also defeated his brother, the greatest lawyer in Olafoon, so now I'm a lawyer, too. I got so much going on, I can't even tell you. That, that's a lot. Oh, man. <laughs> yeah. You just got a face. I just want to, like, tell you uh-huh. things. Like, you're just yeah. very personable. Thank you. Well, I'm a lot of persons. Uh, because I'm a put-together person. I don't know if you've ever met a put-together person before. I don't know. But we I... are put together from a lot of different pieces of other people's bodies, and then we are oh. reanimated into life. Okay. Were you personally reanimated by a necromancer or some sort of mad science person or, uh, or someone else entirely? It was it was a mad science science person um, who also dipped his toe in alchemy a little bit, but he wasn't oh, that great at it, you know. Fun. So that's why I think he went into the put together people business. Um, he put me together. Oh my God! Wow, now it's like <laughs> this is crazy. Like ten years ago. Oh. Um, that time flies. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yes. But you know, uh, so I was put together ten years ago, and. Um, he reanimated me into being alive again, mm-hmm. which I didn't like at first. I'm going to be sure. honest. It yeah. is very jarring to have been dead yeah. and then come back to life somewhere where you didn't die. Of course. In like a, in a laboratory type setting. And then mm-hmm. also not have all your original parts. Right. So I have to ask, friend. Oh, oh that reminds me. Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, what was your name again? Oh, yes, my name is No! Oh, oh, what an interesting name. Uh, uh, how did you come to have such a sober regret? Well, so, so basically, I freaked out when I was, uh, I guess you could call it born again. And then um, I tried to escape, and I jumped out a window, and as I was doing it, the mad scientist was yelling, No! Come back! So I assumed that No was my name. So then is come back your last name? No, he was telling me to come back. Oh, I see. My last name's Peterson. <laughs> no, Peterson. <laughs> okay, I see, I see. Well, uh, that's a fascinating tale of being born. I, I have to uh, ask, I'm so sorry though. to interrupt you, Usador. How dare you? It's very important to pronounce people's names the way that they, they want them to be pronounced. So yeah, because it, it's not no. <laughs> that's my father. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I don't know who my father is. It's probably like, it's more like my father's. My name is pronounced No, no, Peterson. Of all the people, you'd think I'd be the one that would do that. You would think so. No, I have to ask you. Yes. When you say you're reborn, reanimated, mm-hmm. uh, yes. is there a central figure that you remember being from your past life, or are you kind of an amalgamation of of those former lives? Well, I, you know, since there's only one part of me that has a brain, there's oh, only sure. really one life. So, like, the arms and the legs and the other parts really don't uh, inform anything other than maybe, like, my, my right arm's really jacked. Mm. So he, my right arm must have been some sort of, uh, like, bodybuilder or something guess, yeah. or, you know, worked manual labor in a mine or something. But that doesn't, I don't remember any of that. So it's all just guesses. But, you know, for my brain and head, um, that's where I get some, it's like a whisper of uh, a memory of who I used to be. Oh. Ooh. 
Okay. Yeah, are there flashes of things you remember? Like clues? Yes, and they come at the strangest times. Like I don't I don't have any control over it. It's just like a picture. And usually because um, it's my memory, it's pictures of other people. So mm. it's weird because it doesn't really help me know who I was. It's just like yeah. it helps me know who I was around, I guess. Mm. There's a woman that comes in a lot that I think is was my wife. Um, and she looks, she she's gorgeous. I mean, oh. from the flashes that I see. Oh, she's gorgeous. Thank you. I must have, I mean... <laughs> my body must not have looked my my head. The rest of my, you know, because my head's not that great. I'm gonna be honest. You can see it. Well, it's a little bit. Mm. I, I I don't know if I would say that. It's it's hard to tell with, from you know. There's a certain amount of, let's just say, it, decomposition. You uh, don't have to. You don't have to. Yeah. Do, you don't have to. It's. I get it. But thank you. Thank You're you. You're also. For, you know, your head is on a little bit of a weird angle. Like which, he he did not do a good job. I think mm. I might have been his first put together person. Ah oh. uh, yes. Yeah. So, well, anyway, I just wanted to say that um, I've learned that those those past parts of my life don't make me who I am anymore because mm-hmm. I could have been a real a-hole uh, back then. And now I, I decided that my new rebirth, my new reanimation is a whole new person. And that's why I dedicated my life to charity. Oh, that's oh. wonderful. It's about who you are now, not who you were then. Uh, you've learned and you've grown and you've literally... Uh, uh, put together a new version of yourself, and uh, now you're the best possible version of yourself. Well, I mean, someone else put together a new version. Okay, okay. well, you know, to be fair, not to be... Yeah. yeah, that's true. It wasn't me. I, if I, I mean, I'll tell you what, if I, if I put myself together, I definitely would have given myself smaller feet, because it oh, is yes. god-awful oh, yeah. to try and find what? boots for these things. Those I things, I gotta say, they're not only are they big, but they're big in different ways. Like they're clearly yeah, the not the same big. Yeah, one is big, like feet. wide, big, and short, and the other one's long <laughs> and thin. It is a, a dickens of a time trying to walk. <laughs> Why? Oh, I'm certain that it is. Uh, but you say you're doing this wonderful charitable work now. Uh, tell us more about uh, uh, about how you're getting limbs for put together people. Yes. So m- some put together people. This this is a big misconception that when you're a put together person, the scientist or alchemist puts you together completely before he reanimates you. Sometimes that's true. I see. But more often than not, most put together people don't have all their parts. Oh. Yeah. And it's because, you know, parts are hard to come by these days. Uh, and also it's illegal to go into, like, cemeteries and such to steal parts. Well, I yes, I guess technically it's illegal, but uh, it's certainly frowned upon. But, uh, you know, sometimes when you need a part, you just go and get the part that you need. That is very true. But, but you know, some of these, I gotta, I gotta, I'm going to be honest with you, some of these... They're, they're kind of fly-by-night, put-together people doctors. They don't really know what they're doing. And sometimes sure. they just don't have, they don't, uh, they like get a hand, but they don't get the forearm. So it'll just oh, be like a hand yeah. on like the upper part of an arm on one side. And then sometimes I'm, I'm going to be, this is, the, this is the hardest part for us. Sometimes it's animal parts. Oh. So it could be like, a, it could be like on the other, the left arm is just like a donkey leg, you know? Mm-hmm. The left arm is a donkey leg. That is a tragedy. Yes. I mean, because what are you going to do with that hoof? You can't. I mean, you can't pick anything up with it. I I at least have all human parts. Mm -hmm. Can I ask? No. Well, do the mad science people, do they sometimes just get impatient and they're like, I'm half done, but I I just got to turn this thing on and see what happens. I'm not a big fan of them. I do think that they tend to, you know, they get a little whipped up. And just they go well. They go mad. It's in the name. It's right there in the name. Sure. And that they're not making they're not making good choices at that mm-hmm. point. I mean, it's just about making choices. Yeah. Well, uh, I would have to say too, though. You know, uh, to play devil's advocate for a moment. Uh, not that I would ever put together a person and try to reanimate them. Wait, use the door. Wait, I'm sorry. No, will you excuse for just a moment? Sure. I, I, um, um, I'll be right back. Get a drink at the bar. Well, you know what? That's so great. Our guests, usually we have to walk away from the table. I love that finally we have a guest that they walk away while we're talking to each other. You sort of, you had to have been a mad science person at some point, or maybe just like a magic version of that, right? Right. I'm, I'm more into the alchemy and necromancer side. I, I mean, I've dabbled in it. I, I think it's despicable. I hate Drip Fang, but I respect him. Mm-hmm. 
Uh, but I'm, I'm never really a necromancer. But yeah, you you know, you try out different things. I put some cats back together and a, a couple people, but nothing, nothing big. Do you ever just like do a combination and you're just sort of like, what's the wildest I could get with this? Or do you ever just kind of like monster factory it? Uh, well, yeah. Sometimes you just, you just see how far you can push those sliders. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, okay. Oh, I think he's coming back. He's so his timing is great. Uh, I don't know what you wanted to drink, but I wanted to get you something, so I got oh. us all ale. Oh. I thought that was safe, a safe yeah. bet. Yeah. A wonderful choice, and yeah. I thank thee uh, for this wonderful boon, mm. but let us enjoy our ales while we take a quick break. Fly, you fools. Over to patreon.com slash magic tavern right now and become a patron of the show. For only $5 a month, you get access to all of our wonderful bonus content and material and ad free versions of the show. So, no! And again, am I saying that right? Oh, that was perfect. Oh, thank you. Where does the Peterson come from? Here's the funny thing sometimes some of our pieces. Uh, come with clothing, mm. and it was written in my underwear. <laughs> oh, brother! What do you know? And Peterson, I assumed Peterson would not be like. It could be a couple things. It could mm. be my last name. It could be my first name, but I don't think that. And it also could be Peter's son. You know, if it's a kid's underwear. Yeah. Um. But yeah, he's, I just thought uh, Peterson. That would you know be a strange way to mark your underwear if you were a child. <laughs> yeah. I am. I am Peter's son, and this is my underwear. Well, I don't know. Kind of, in some ways, it makes sense. Like, uh, if you find someone's shoes or something, let's say, like getting it back to the kid is it's probably easier to get it back to the adult. Ah, yes. Yeah, uh, you know, you lose your underwear somewhere, and, uh, you know, you're not going to want to bring that to a kid. <laughs> That'll get you in trouble. Yeah, that is true. Well, speaking of losing your underwear, uh, mm. you've carved out a new life up for yourself. No! Master of the segue. <laughs> No, I was going to say outside of uh, your charity work, how's your personal life? Are you oh, yeah. seeing anyone? Are you are you romantically entangled? Are you is it complicated? Uh well, I'll tell you something. I am seeing someone and uh, <laughs> uh with two different types of eyes. <laughs> That's oh. a little put together person joke. I have a blue eye and a and a, a green eye as you can see. Um, well, your head is put together. I'm so sorry to interrupt. Your head is put together. Well, yes, just just certain parts of it. I think the green eye is original. Mm -hmm. I think the 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 blue eye might have been how I was killed in the first place. Oh, so I think uh, you know might have been a spike. You know, might have been a spider and climbed in there. I don't know, but uh, he had to put a new uh, a blue eye in there for me. Is there any chance that there's still a spider somewhere in there in your head? Oh my God, yes. I think I'm lousy with spiders because <laughs> I don't eat. <laughs> I don't have to eat. It's a weird, oh. I mean, yeah. So I'm sure there are creatures inside of me just like running around in there because I do hear noises like the mm. gurgling noises that I used to get when I used to eat. I hear those. So I'm assuming it might be like a rat or spiders or something in there. Uh, is it that you choose not to eat or uh, you just have no need for fuel at all? It's a little bit of both. Um, I don't necessarily need the nutrients since I am undead. Mm. Uh, secondly, though, it's just, you know, I don't have the desire. <laughs> I sure. don't know why. It's just not, I see food. It makes me, it just, it just doesn't do anything for me anymore. Is it possible you're just depressed? You, you, oh, uh, you know, I mean, uh, is, is it, isn't everyone a little depressed? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. There's a whole de depressed version of me that lives in my hat. <laughs> I'd like to meet him someday. Oh, no, you wouldn't. He's terrible. No. Okay. Blue Sidor? That's right. And even even though you don't eat, you've brought us these wonderful ales. And and frankly, I love these steins. My friend, I am a drinker. Oh, okay. <laughs> and I'll tell you what, it takes a lot for me to get drunk, but I get there, if you know hmm. what I'm talking about. Okay, okay. No I'm longer interested in eating, drinking a lot, needs to drink a lot. Crave, I crave alcohol. Okay. That doesn't seem like a problem to me. Uh, well, I think that the best thing, uh, if you'd like to, you know, take a moment and tell us a little bit more about the charity work that you're doing, oh, uh, yes. we'd love to hear about it, and then we'll learn more about you again. Yeah, sure. I'll talk about that. Um, uh, the charity's name is Lend a Limb. Mm. 
Good name. Yes, I came up with it myself. <laughs> uh, um, so, uh, Lend a Limb is basically a charity for any put together person who doesn't have the parts that they should. Now, the one thing that I will say is weird about the name is that we don't, it's not really like we're lending it because we yeah. don't want it back. We don't want that back. Mm -hmm. But we do uh, facilitate all of the, the finding of the limb the attachment of the limb and oh. or the uh, detachment of the defective limbs mm -hmm. or pieces. And then we have um, uh, registered nurses who go and check in for at least a month or two after to make sure that the, the new limb is taking. Oh, that's wonderful. Because sometimes a put together person rejects all of its parts. All of them? What does that look like? There was a friend of mine uh, he's no longer with us, but he, uh, he was a put together person mm -hmm. and all of his parts rejected each other. Mm -hmm. And it was a slow and painful process of them just falling off and shriveling up oh. until he oh. just, uh, all the pieces fell off. Oh, I remember you, you told me this story before, uh, when I first met you and you said that your friend's name was, I've done it. Yes. I've done it was really... He was a kind soul. What did it say in I've Done It's underwear? I do know that his last name was also Peterson. Huh. <laughs> so we didn't know if we were somehow related or if we were like brothers who also had this, like if it was twin kids mm -hmm. who had underwear. I don't know. It could have been, it could have just been some, yeah. some weird guy named Peterson who donated all his underwear to charity. And yeah. then, you know, that's right. where we found I hate it. I to ask know. so many underwear related questions, but no, no, that's fine. No, you don't. Oh, I should do an after show. That's just all underwear questions. Sure. So the printing of Peterson, does it look like how nice is it written in the underwear? And I assume on, in the, the waistband or on the label? Yes, well, that's the interesting thing because it's it's not actually like, like written in, it was actually mm. sewn in. Okay. It is, it was it was a thread that was done. It was, it's beaut, I mean, it's, let me show you here. Just look, look right there. Oh, It's okay. gorgeous, isn't it? It's like- Embroidered, lovely. Huh. It's someone who was truly mm -hmm. committed to their craft. This is your one pair of underwear? Yes, I, I, okay. I only have one pair of all clothes. Maybe we should start a new branch of Lendolin that's uh, Lend Some Underwear. It doesn't, yeah. it's not alliterative, it's not as nice. We'll think of a better name for it. Share some underwear? Well, no, I don't need, uh, what, that, uh, that's pretty good. Like I said, I don't eat, so I don't ever, I don't ever poop. <laughs> for lack of a better term, <laughs> I don't ever poop. There are some stains in there though, I will say that. There were things in there? Was there a spider? <laughs> Maybe, oh, you know what, maybe it was a, a crushed spider. I, I was just in this, I, I'm so sorry. I shouldn't bring this up. It could also be flesh. Yeah. I, it, that is one of the other problems. Even if your body doesn't reject yourself, the flesh just does, I mean, it, it's just going to drop yeah. off every once in a while. Uh, yes, I, I wanted to ask a little more about uh, mm -hmm. Lendalim. You mentioned, yes. of course, that... Uh, the donors wouldn't actually be getting those limbs back, so it's a bit of a misnomer, but that's fine. Uh, uh, I, as a wizard, uh, when I die, I'll turn into a shaft of pure light and f f flame into the heavens. Ooh. But Arnie here, he'll have lots of limbs left over. Arnie, have you thought about becoming a limb donor? I, I guess I have. I mean, back on Earth, I was an organ donor. Well, all you have to do is, is sign this form right here. Is it, isn't that right? No! Yes, that, that is correct. We have a form here where you can, it, it just states that you are, um, at, at, when you meet your demise, okay. you are fine with us taking any of your limbs to put on a put together person. Hmm. But I see that there's a little bit of fine print under there that says you only have to give up one limb now. Yes. And the rest you'll get after they die. That is correct. That might be a deal breaker for me. I'm going to be honest. Oh, really? So thank you, because I didn't. I never read the fine print, so I really would have regretted that if I'd signed this immediately. It's just one limb right now. It doesn't even have to technically be a limb. I, I assume people need ears and things like of that nature. Yes. Oh my gosh. We need ears. We need ears uh, and and noses. Noses and ears are uh, behind arms are the, the the biggest with things we need. You know, I'm so sorry. Like my eyesight isn't what it used to be. I probably someone should lend me their eyes. But 
There's even more fine print under that other fine print. Mm, that's a little disrespectful. That's a little disrespectful. Sorry, I was trying to relate. I don't, yeah, don't. It just, I, I understand, but you, you might not be around too many put together people, but that's I'm just saying we've all got problems. All right. Okay, okay. All right. What's the fine print you saw? Yeah, I can't read this other fine print underneath the first set of fine print. Oh, yes. Yeah. So all that says, if you if you get out like a magnifying glass or something, mm-hmm. it says, if you end up being a put together person, mm-hmm. all your parts will be returned to you. Oh, oh, so that's a nice one. That's pretty good. I don't know why we put that in the fine print, because I think people would be more prone to do it yeah. uh, if they saw that. But yeah, I don't well, make these. I don't make these. Um, I, that's not my department. How often does that happen where, like, a put-together person is like, oh, thank goddesses, I have this new arm, but then their arm gets repoed by the original person? It happens not not as much as you'd think, but it does it does happen. Well, but then that person ha- can go back to lend a limb. Yes, exactly. We we have a process where that, it, that and, it, and we make it seamless so that when he, the person... I can see all the seams. It's not seamless. I can see where you're all sewn together. <laughs> oh, yes. See, now that's the kind of humor I like. Uh, <laughs> uh, but, well, you didn't but, say uh, about that about any of the other jokes that we might have said so far this episode. <laughs> Well, no, I'm... This is a very serious topic. No one's making jokes, Arnie. Oh, sorry. We're trying to raise limbs. So, yes, if a person needs to give up their limb back to the original owner of the limb, they come in and we already have a new limb ready for them so that when they're giving the old limb, the new old limb is then put on. Well, that's wonderful. That's perfect. We've tried to think of every, every single situation. Now, I know Arnie has waded into some uncomfortable territory, and I apologize for his very poor behavior, but I may need to ask a question that's also just as insensitive, but I hope you'll understand. I I know where this might be going, but go ahead. I'm trying to overcome my ignorance, but no, that's fine. And and if he's wrong about where you think this is going, I also want to hear what you think he's he's saying. Okay, absolutely. Let's keep that in the back pocket. Yes. What the hell's going on with the things on your neck? Oh, that was not what I thought he was oh, going to ask about. <laughs> are those are those like screws and nuts? What are those? What's going on? Yes. Well, they are they're bolts. Ah, okay. And what they do is that is how at least my particular mad scientist uh, electrified me back to life. Oh. He used lightning and they conducted through there to reignite my brain waves. Oh, that's smart. Yes. Arnie, we should get a pair of those for you. Yeah. I mean, oh, I, I got to be honest with you. I need a recharge. They work for hangovers. I'll tell you that much. Oh, yeah. <laughs> You zap those things again when you're feeling a little... Oh, my, yeah. When I put down, like, 20 ales, and then I'm like, in the next morning, I'm like, oh, boy, here we go. Get me get me to a lightning storm. Speaking of which, during the break, you drank all the ales that you brought to the table. How about... I'll get another round. I'll get a couple, actually, just so that we can have some as well. All okay. Right. I'll, yeah, I'll be right yeah. back. Well, uh, no! I just wanted to say... Wait, no, you said you don't want me to go? I was just talking to no. What? You know what? Why don't you go over there and we'll take a quick break? Wait, you're talking to who? Uh, No! Hmm? What? Let's take a break. Hey, thank you for listening to Hello from the Magic Tavern. A great way to support the podcast is to join our Patreon. You'll get ad-free versions of our entire back catalog, including... All the Magic Tavern spinoffs like Offices and Bosses, I Am Spin, Tax, Shadow, Sit, there are a lot of them. There are two new exclusive bonus episodes every month, Discord, all kinds of stuff. To get more information, go to patreon.com slash magic tavern. That's patreon.com slash magic tavern. Well, while Arnie's getting us some uh, more ales, I... I didn't want to bring this up in front of Ani because he mm-hmm. has a bit of a problem with red potion. Ooh. He's addicted to it. He can't have it. Okay. Uh, it. You know, if you feel like, you, you know, I understand you're a put together person, you may be self medicating somewhat, uh, but if you feel like you really have a problem, you, sh- you should speak to someone about that. I mean, what else is going on in your life other than, you know, partying and getting drunk? You know, you're, obviously you're working at the charity, but, you know, you know, no, I, I want to know more about you. Oh, well, that's, you know, not. It's interesting because a lot of people don't want to get to know uh, put together people too well because they um, they're terrifying. Yeah, we're 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 scary looking. 
I mean, there are scary, there are scarier things out there, but we're pretty, pretty high up there. Well, something I've noticed is, please take this as constructive criticism. Mm -hmm. Maybe don't approach small girls next to rivers. Okay, yeah. Now that happened once. That's the funny thing about <laughs> rumors. That happened once. Um, now, I shouldn't do that. Arnie shouldn't do that. You definitely shouldn't do that. Yes. No. No. I know that happened once with one particular put together person, and then it like gets um, it gets spread around that all put together people do that, and that is not the case. Well, and I understand that that would make people nervous, but uh, but that's not a real concern that people should have. I do, I'll, I'll put that out there on this. Please, people, do not be concerned about us around your children. We do we do not care. We don't care about your kids. So I just want to put that out there. Okay, well, I, forgive me for my ignorance. Uh, now we're all okay. learning together, and uh, yeah. and we're sharing this new knowledge with uh, all of our listening audience. Uh, uh, so that's a, a wonderful thing, I think. All yeah. right, I'm back. Here's an ale for me, an ale for you, Sidor, and an ale, 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 and an ale for... No! Thank you. No! There's a woman that just keeps staring at you from over there at the bar. Now, let me ask this question. Mm -hmm. Is it a stare of, like, interest or a stare of fear? That's a good question. This is the hardest thing about me meeting people. I know you asked if I was seeing someone, and I am, like, I am dating, mm -hmm. but it is hard because you don't know if it's someone who's just, like, really interested in your parts or if they're, like, frightened <laughs> for, for looking at you, you know? Yeah. Well, you, you hope if you're dating someone that they're interested in your parts. Yeah. I'll tell you, I know that you had, Arnie, you had mentioned that you wanted to know what I was thinking when uh, we were going to talk oh, about yeah, like, yeah. the bolts. Yes, you had mentioned that. <laughs> I'll tell I was thinking that you were going to ask about my penis. Oh, well, we would never. That's one of our standard questions, Arnie. That's, yeah, <laughs> you're right. You're right. It is. Uh, because that's, I mean, that's one thing that people are always like, is the, 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 did it come with the pelvis and the whole part together, or is it right. a different part? Where's the seam at, as they say? Mm, is it like one shaft, different head? That's inappropriate. Oh, sorry. I really okay, think I I was... you've got to stop. I mean, just, I, 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 I know you don't I know, apologize. but there's a little bit that thank you. But yes, that's that, that's what I thought he was. we were going to talk about. That's well, uh, since you brought it up, mm -hmm. what's going on down there? Well, <laughs> okay. This is something that um, I've been working on as a put together person mm -hmm. is that I went through a long period of time where I kept replacing it because mm. I was never happy with it. Mm -hmm. I was like, oh, this one's too small. This one's big, but it's too crooked. This one yeah. is just a little, I, this, I don't like the color. Mm -hmm. um, so I, and then I had to just stop and take a step back, which is hard because of my two big feet <laughs> and literally be okay with whatever part I had because I could just, I could continue this cycle yeah forever and ever and ever and ever and then just never be happy with what I actually uh, have. Yeah. Right. Have you, have you considered starting like its own spin-off charity like Grab a Groin or something like that? Uh, well, no, I haven't actually. I hate that name, but uh, uh, well, I have to say... <laughs> I, I forgot one of our other standard questions, too. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. You may not know the answer to this but since you don't remember your past lives. It, yes. Uncle, dead or alive? Uh, I do know this one because okay. I do get a flash okay. every once in a while of a man who does not look like he could have been my father but could, had just more of an uncle quality. You know, when you look yeah. at somebody, you're like, yeah. that's more of an uncle. Probably a mustache. Yes, uh, there's definitely a mustache. Definitely um, just a little more frumpy. Uh, of a guy, and he, uh, I, I've seen him uh, in my visions uh, falling off a cliff, so he's dead. Oh, oh okay. Dead, dead, dead uncle, great. Dead uncle, uh, yes. Uh, yeah, that woman won't stop staring over here. I know. Uh, she, I would say not horrified, but just a kind of, like, disbelieving, like, I've just seen a ghost kind of look on her face. Okay. I know what's happening. What's that? She may have known one of my parts. Oh. Previously, before I was put together, like that jacked arm. It could be the jacked arm, could be the face. Well, nine times out of ten, it's the face. Yeah. Although that arm yeah. is jacked in a weird way, and it's got yeah. like a, it's got like a an anchor tattoo on it. Yeah, yeah. That says Samantha. She could know me from that, and that could be Samantha. I don't know. I, but I don't know. It's also there's a lot of rings on those fingers. Oh, those are mine. <laughs> Don't you add those? Oh. Yeah, those I add. I do. I I really like jewelry. You can even see okay. I'm wearing. I oh, yeah. I have um, a couple necklaces on. It's the only mm -hmm. thing I can really accessorize. Every yeah. once in a while, I'll put a ring 
on my bolt. Oh, oh that's oh, fun. That's nice. Uh, yeah, a couple. Yeah, just to just to like, if I'm going out on the, like going out on the town, I'll put a couple rings on my bolts and, um, yeah. Does does the woman at the bar? Excuse me. Oh, <clears throat> oh hello. Oh, it's a woman. It's the woman from the bar. Yeah, we all know that. We know. I'm sorry to ask, uh, but are you Richard? No, I'm Arnie. No, I'm not talking to you. Oh, sorry. Are you Richard Peterson? Oh my God. Uh, she might recognize your butt. Um. My last name is Peterson. Okay. Uh, have you have we met? I think, I think you might be, my ex-husband, but he died, and he owed me a lot of money. Oh, how much money? Five thousand gold. Oh, would love overcome that? Uh, Dead? Snap! Oh, oh no! God, I'm so sorry. Oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> oh, oh. Hang, hang on, hang on, hang on. This could this could be all right. This could be all right. Let me go through her papers here real quick. Oh, good. She's a limb donor. This okay. is perfect for the podcast this is today. Perfect oh. for the charity. Okay. So all those limbs are gonna go to a good a good host. Uh, it all worked out. Everyone's happy in the end. Yes. Sorry about that. Sorry. How how does that work when you owe money from a past life? Do you just you kind of get a reset when you're reborn? Uh, I don't think any of that carries over. Yeah. Um, I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No, I, it's okay. I, I'm, I'm, it's okay. I'm sorry. It, it, there's, a, there's a thing that happens. There's certain situations where I do just snap. Um, and then you who, say snap. Yes, and then I snap, <laughs> snap someone's, someone's neck. Someone's neck. Yeah, it's, it, it, that must have come from a previous life or just the, the, the electricity in my, in my brain. Uh, or it might be the 17 beers I've had. <laughs> that, that's <laughs> oh, no. probably not helping. Yeah. Yeah. So wait, you're saying that this, is, this isn't the first time this has happened. Well, the, the, um, uh, uh, no. it happens sometimes. Uh-huh. It is just, a, it is something that per, per, put together person has to deal with. She had papers that said she, she's a limb donor and she's willing to g- give up all these limbs. So uh, we'll read the details of her papers closely by uh, getting a torch here and looking closely at the details. So I've got a big li- What's wrong? <laughs> I just have a big torch here that I'm holding. It's... You don't like the torch? What's wrong with the torch? <laughs> okay, all right, all right. All right, all right. <laughs> I'll, put I'll put it back. So, wow. I'll put it back. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I can't. That is a... <laughs> you are lucky that I just recently snapped because that could have been another snap situation. <laughs> but since I did it just recently, I there was there, I wasn't like... Didn't have as much endorphins, but that is just never bring a torch around a put together person, please. Okay, sorry. Oh, uh, excuse me, I'm Scrim. Uh, I've been your server this evening. Um, my shift is over. I hate, I'd hate to do this. You're in no hurry to leave, but if you could just cash out now, here's your bill for the drinks that you owe so far. Uh, thank you, Scrim. Uh, uh, thank you, Scrim. Uh, how much? How much? Sorry, how much do we owe here? Oh, uh, just about twelve gold. I have a question. Does Scrim always work here? Do you know him? Has he been around a lot? I, I've never seen Scrim before in my life. I've never seen Scrim before. Okay. <laughs> Snap! Wow. It's 12 gold. I was going to pay it. I just didn't want to snap somebody that actually <laughs> has been around a lot. I understand that, but 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 it was my treat. Look, first of all, I don't condone any I don't condone anything you've done, but I will say I appreciate that you checked in to see if it was a beloved character. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> of course. Well, uh, okay, well, uh, let me check his papers. He's not an organ donor, so uh oh. well, just uh, I I can fix that. I can fix that with a little piece of paper here that we had for Arnie to sign. I'm just gonna put scrim. Okay, that go. seems unethical. Uh, but uh, you know how the law works, I guess. I, I don't. Uh, I'm not a lawyer. I'm just a wizard. Um, uh, although I did act as a lawyer a couple weeks ago, didn't I? I also. I mean, if you have lawyer questions, I am the greatest lawyer in all of it. Yeah, is that legal? What he just did? Can he just sign something for scrim posthumously? I'll say yes. Okay, great. It all worked out. Uh, I do have a question for you, Arnie. If my neighbor's dog is pooping on my lawn, mm-hmm. do I have any recourse? Can I snap him? <laughs> just snap him? Not even his neck? Oh. No, just, yeah. Can I, that, I mean, is that would that get me in trouble? I'm, so, I'm afraid I, I don't practice lawn law, so I don't exactly know. Okay. Okay. I don't know about that one. 
I'm Can guessing it be, it's probably okay if it's your lawn. Okay, yeah, it's my property. Did you start? Did you try before that yelling at the dog, "Get off my lawn"? The dogs just bark at me and don't leave. They mm-hmm. they just they they don't like put together people, so they just yeah. bark. Do animals in general dislike you? Like, sort of sense you're an unnatural thing. Yes, they have an in, inherent sense that I am not uh, right. Yeah, conflicting odors. Probably. Oh, yeah. yeah. It's like, oh, shit, did seven people just walk up to me? Although, if the, if the animal knew one of the pieces of the put-together person, oh. that animal would be friendly towards that, at least that part. Oh, well, that's nice. That's something. Uh, so hopefully it's a hand so you can pet them. Do you have a favorite part of yourself? Uh, yes, I do. I have a favorite part that I, you know, and this is the thing where yeah, I've just, you know, I've learned... I can't choose my parts. I need to fall in love with my parts. Mm-hmm. I've got to say that my calves are my favorite part of my body because whoever they're from, they're from the same person. They were a runner. I'll tell you mm-hmm. that much because they are in shape. And I don't do anything to them, but they stay in shape. And not, no flesh has fallen oh. from these oh. things. These things have, these puppies, these puppies have, uh, have maintained. Wow, wow, wow. Uh, excuse me, I'm looking for my brother Scrim. Snap. <laughs> okay. Right. Oh, right. You killed oh. beloved character Scram. Oh, wait, Scram. was that a beloved character? Beloved Scram's character. been on every episode for the last four years. So we'll just we'll go back and edit him out. We'll figure something out. Yeah, we'll we'll edit those old episodes. Don't worry oh. about it. I should have put together that the brother he's been looking for uh, for years uh, was Scrim, who we just saw. Oh no! I, t- I guys, I really feel like I I might uh, be having a snap attack, and because <laughs> I feel like I, if I do, I I really just I don't want to snap either of you. No, please don't. I'd like to see you try. Well, would you really? <laughs> Wow, I'm a wizard. I, Good luck. Well, yeah. I'm not. And I, by the way, I have nothing against you. Arnie has made some off-color jokes, so I just yeah, I'm sorry. hoping that he doesn't do another one. Yeah, yeah. And I and I I don't want to snap anybody else. Okay. Arnie, have you have you been on all the episodes? Not all of them. Okay. The only he's, person that's been on every episode is Chun. Until now. Actually, he's missed some too. Chun sounds like a real asshole. Everyone agrees that that's definitely the truth, so that's fine. <laughs> so I'm glad he's not here because I feel like of any of you, any of you guys, him. I probably would have snapped him. Saved his life. Saved his life by not having him here. Well, we're uh, we're very glad that you were able to come on and tell us all about your charitable work, and uh, we'll clean up these bodies, I guess, sure, which seems sure. to be a recurring theme of the show lately. And uh, we'll we'll uh, we'll have to have you back sometime. Uh, let us know h- how many limbs you're able to to garner uh, during this charitable season. And if anybody and if anybody wants to just donate money or time mm-hmm. uh, to uh, to the charity, they can they can visit um, my website, uh, which is where the spiders live. Mm-hmm. Above my door, there's a box. It's above, there's a box above my door that you can put the money in. <laughs> Have you considered putting that box other places? I put it a little lower, personally. I, yeah, but I don't want people to steal from it, so if somebody's mm. going to put something into it, yeah, I think right. that they will get the stool or something to put it in there. People tend to be more motivated to give money than to steal money. Yeah, so that's why the box is above my door, <laughs> right by my by, by, by my website. Okay, well, uh, everyone go, uh, go to No's website and uh, leave some money in the box. And thank you so much for having me. I'm sorry I killed three people. Yeah. Any chance I get to get to, to let people know a little bit more about put together people and that they shouldn't be scared of us at all. <laughs> We're just like every other person. This interview might be counterproductive to that cause. Yeah, I, I mean, uh, well, uh, okay, let, let's go through it real quick. Ex-wife no. uh, asking for money. Justifiable snap? snap? Uh, that's a snap, right? Mm. Scrim and scram. Uh, beloved characters from the podcast. Uh, <laughs> that That's oh. a little dicier. That was, yeah. Excuse me, I'm here to clean up all the bodies. Oh my god, please. Every, I gotta go. I gotta go. Scrum? Scrum, are you here to clean all the bodies up? And also, I'm looking for my cousins. I don't, I don't want to do this. <sighs> I'm just, can I have your broom? Sure. Snap. I just snapped the broom. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> the broom is the source of my life essence. 
but I didn't know that that was a thing. Oh, yeah. Well established piece of canon that uh, the broom was the life essence of Scru- Only of thing s- keeping it alive. Oh, yeah. No, I didn't know there was a spell. Literally unkillable otherwise. That's all right. Hey, I would say this to you, no. Perfectly indicative of your journey. Progress, not perfection. Thank you. And if we're talking about this podcast, maybe not even progress. Never forget, we have three choices in life. Perfection, progress, or podcasts. User or the Wizard was played by Matt Young. No! Peterson was played by special guest John Lutz. Mr. Lutz's career peaked with his portrayal of meddling millionaire Charles Benbroge in the improvised police procedural cuffs at the I.O. Theater in Chicago circa 2002. To see John's current derivative work, check out The Maplewood Murders on Roku, which he co-created with AP Bio and Girls 5 Ever gem Paula Pell. Hello from the Magic Tavern is an independent production, made possible by supporters of the Magic Tavern Patreon. Supporters like Richard Pugh, Brian Kelty, Allegio, Matthew Zamsky, Adam B., Ash Alexander, Biggs Fuchikos. Oh, hey, nice work threading the stone needle in Beggar's Canyon. Could come in handy someday. Alicia, Alex Carnahan, Becca the Giraffe Evans, T, Jeff Forsey, Robin Holmes, and Anisha. Patrons get ad-free episodes, the entire back catalog, including all the previous spin-offs, and at least two new bonus episodes each month. To learn more about supporting the show, visit patreon.com slash magic tavern. Hello from the Magic Tavern is produced by Arnie Niekamp, Matt Young, and Adol Rafai. Post-production coordination by Garrett Schultz. Associate producer, Anna Haverman. This episode edited by Tim Joyce. Hello from the Magic Tavern logo by Allard LeBan. Magic Tavern theme by Andy Poland.